So guys, now let me explain to you why all of this happened. Well, because in the first scenario, the lemon was denser than water, so it sank. Now what is density? So let's start my own experiment, guys. First, we take this pointed guard, we put it in regular water. It floats. Now let's put one in salt water. This is another pointed guard, put it in salt water. Again, it floats. Well, why do these two float? Because these things are less dense than water. Water and salt water are more denser dense than this. Okay, these two are less dense. We filled it completely. Wow, look guys, it's floating now. It's floating. A lot more. Wow, well, guys, look. The potato is floating. Yes, my experiment worked. Hello friends, welcome to Ujan Creation. Today, I am going to share with you the lemon drop experiment. I did not do this alone. I took the help of my dad. We went to the market and bought all the supplies for this video. He helped me a, turn. He helped me a lot. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, share and ring the notification bell for upcoming videos. So, let's go. Yeah, let's go. And stay with us. And stay with us. So guys, let's start. Now first, let me show you my ingredient. Here, we have a bottle of water. Next, we have a packet of salt. We need a packet of salt and a spoon. Then, you need two lemons. And next, you need two transparent containers. I'm using transparent containers instead of glass ones because of safety purposes. So guys, let's start our exper experiment. So first, let's fill this container two thirds of the way, okay? With what? Two thirds of the way. Don't fill it. Just, just the right amount. We take a lemon and then we pour it into the water. The pour drop. So let's drop it. Alright, so we can see the lemon sand. Let's see the next lemon. Sank again. So guys, now, now as you can clearly see, the lemons have sunk into the water. Now, we have another container. Why? Because we are going to fill it with water and add salt. Salt to it and see what happens. Remember to fill it only two thirds of the way with water. Don't want to pour too much. We take the salt, we take the salt and we take one spoon, add it. One spoon of salt. Alright, add more salt. Good. Now let's stir it. So, mix this solution well. Mix it very well, okay? So guys, now that we have this lemon, we're going to take one lemon from this. Oh, it spilled. Be careful for that. Now we take this lemon and then put it into the salt water. Let's see what happens. It floats. But this lemon sank. So guys, now as you, as you can clearly see, this lemon is floating. In salt water, but this lemon is not floating in regular water. And this lemon wasn't either floating in this. So what's happening? So let me explain to you why this happened. So guys, now let me explain to you why all of this happened. Well, because in the first scenario, the lemon was denser 
than water so it sank now what is density the density of a substance is its mass per unit that is density so guys i'm going to now explain why this lemon floated in salt water it's because when we added salt to the water the water was denser than the lemon so the lemon floated so basically if an object is denser than water then it sinks but if a object is less dense than water then it floats so guys i hope you understood why the lemon floated and why the lemon sank i hope you understand that now this part was a school experiment this was my school experiment my project but now i'm going to do an experiment of my own what if i what if i use instead of lemons pointed cards this is a pointed card i have two of them now first let's put these lemons aside okay so let's start my own experiment guys first we take this pointed card we put it in regular water it floats now let's put one in salt water this is another pointed card put it in salt water again it floats so why do these two float because these things are less dense than water water and salt water are more denser dense then this okay these two are less dense and use another vegetable another thing a potato to so set it in regular water no it does not float probably because it is denser than water or probably that's just a truth now in my hand Is that this in salt water? Wait. This isn't floating, guys. This isn't floating. Okay, see, the salt water is not floating. So what do you do when your potato isn't floating and you want it to float? You add more salt. So let's see how much salt does it require to make a potato float in water. One spoon. Yes. Two spoon. Yes. So it's already the we've already used up so much of the salt, man. I need more salt. This thing has to float. on so guys as you can clearly see i have changed the container why because the potato wasn't floating in this container you see that it wasn't floating in this container so we decided to change and use this container as you can see this container is floating this potato is now floating in a bigger container so we learned another new thing that if you increase the size of the container there is a higher chance that the thing will float now i want it to fully float it's not floating enough i'm going to add more salt let's add some more water okay let's see what happens when we add a bit more water we fill it completely wow look guys it's floating now it's floating a lot more wow guys look the potato is floating yes i now know so much more about density 
and how to change containers and other fun stuff. This is really fun. This could have been a bit easier if you use the small potato. So what's the fun in that, okay? We are in here to have fun while learning. See, I had fun. So, um, should we? I push it down. I release it. It falls back up. That means it's qualified for the floating club. This was really fun, guys. You should do this experiment too. Maybe use a bigger potato so you can add even more salt. So guys, next time I will bring you even more fun, awesome experiments. These experiments are mostly going to be my school project. Plus, I'm going to give it and share it with you so that y'all can use it for your school project, your science fair, exhibition it's going to be fun so when you're stuck and don't know what to do how about check out my own videos so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video don't forget to give us a like a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos and ring the bell too for more upcoming videos so bye friends bye